cactus and succulent growers I'm Lynn. Welcome to Desert Plants of Avalon in the north of Ireland and in today's video I'm going to be potting up my Stromo Cactus Disciformis. <laughs> Now this gorgeous Strombo Cactus Disciformis is one I've had for about four to five years now and it's one I got from a, a very kind guy called Simon who sent me some amazing plants in an incredible unboxing a few years ago and it's one that he's actually grown himself from seed and uh, it is in much need of a repot I think it's been in this same pot for about two years and I've got the next size pot up for it and uh, this is one of the sort of miniature sort of very slow growing type of cacti from Mexico very very special special type of cactus and I actually have made a complete video all about Strombo Cactus Disciformis and also how you can grow and care for this incredible gorgeous cactus. So if you have this cactus or you want to know a bit more about this speciality type of cactus then do go ahead and watch that video after you've watched this repotting video and I'll link that video up above. That will tell you how I care for this Strombo cactus and how you can uh, look after yours and if you just want to know a bit more information about this awesome cactus. Very 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 beautiful. Now this is just going to be a, a quite a quick video I'll try and keep it short just repotting I had all these plans to do a lot of things in the polytunnel but um, although it's quite sunny today it's incredibly windy outside so it's not practical to be in and out the polytunnel opening the door so I thought great time great opportunity to take some time out and repot any plants I've got in here they're going to be taken out into the polytunnel very very soon and here I've made up the cactus soil of a well-draining soil mix of loam, grit and pumice and a bit of sand as well. And the loam I use is John Innes number two. I give it a sieve and then I mix in with the pumice and the grit and the sand. So it's very, very well draining and the soil is loose as you can see there. And uh, once I have potted it up, I'm going to be keeping it dry anyway for about 10 days and then taking it into the polytunnel. When I bring a lot of these plants I've got in here that are all over winter in, also back into the polytunnel for the spring and summer. So here we go, let's get repotting. So the first thing I'm going to do is obviously remove the label and I, I always say about protecting your hands with sheets of newspaper, card or even another pot turned upside down when you're handling spiny cacti. However this one is really not that sharp as you can see so no trouble with me using my hands. I'm used to handling cacti though so if you're new to repotting cacti do make sure you protect your hands. So just going to turn it onto its side very carefully, squeeze this little pot and these are them little shot glasses that you get from Poundland and uh, places like that. They're great for potting on cacti that are only quite uh, small rooted. And uh, the reason why I've kept this one indoors over the winter, it, it, it is a cold hardy one if it's kept dry over the winter, is because it's extra special and I don't want to, it's our first year with our new polytunnel and I just want to be extra extra careful with this particular one. So again, just squeezing, squeezing the pot. That's great. Woohoo! Give it a little bit of a shaky, shaky, shaky. As you can see there, awesome root system. Brilliant, no problem. I'm using practically the same type of soil as well, as you can see. Pumice grit in there, and I'm using the same soil to pop this on. So the roots are loose enough. I don't need to worry about that. It's just a case then. I've put it into this bigger pot where it's going to really thrive. So I'll just turn that on its side and uh, a little bit of the soil in the bottom. Like that, just a little bit, a little bit out there. And then carefully potting this in like that. So I might put a little bit less out to make sure that there's enough at the bottom there Carefully putting it in and then putting the soil all around. And the reason why I like to keep cacti dry after I've repotted them, as I've mentioned quite a few of my videos when I'm repotting, 
even though I've not had to really touch the, hardly touch the roots at all on this, so there'll be no damage, they are still being disturbed. And cactus roots, once they're disturbed, and you, if I was to go ahead and water this straight away, there's always that possibility that cacti can rot if their roots are disturbed. So I always think just to be on the safe side, it is best just to hold back on watering for a week or two, even if you happen to be doing this in the middle of the, the summer when they're very actively growing. And I like to just gently push the soil down here. Give them a bit of a tap, as long as that's a hammer, obviously. <laughs> bit of a wee tap and then push it down. And that's it, bit of a quick, shorty repotting today. As I say, I've got all these plants to do, all these videos in the polyton. I've got so many plant spring jobs I want to do in there. I've got a lot of writing out all the labels and all the other things, but it's just been very, very windy at the moment. And a sunny one minute, rain the next, typical April weather. So I have to hold back. I don't like to be opening the polytunnel door in and out when it's very windy and the gusts blow in. So I have to be careful. That gives me a chance to catch up with repottings that I have here. So there we go. That's it. Easy peasy, little label, Strombo Cactus Discyformis. And as I say, do go ahead and watch the video I've made on how to care for this awesome Strombo Cactus Discyformis if you're new to it. So it's one of the wonderful Mexican special miniatures. And they do can, can grow quite large over time. I know my wonderful friend Ziggy, Ziggy's Cactus Channel, has a very, very old Strombo Cactus Discyformis. That is quite remarkable, I have to say. Beautiful, big beauty. Now I'm often being asked, can I reuse the soil? Well, if there's nothing wrong with the previous soil, you can actually. I would never recommend using soil if it's come out of plants that have got damaged roots or fungus or anything like that. This is actually nothing wrong with this and there's quite a lot of grit in this that's come to the top so I'm actually going to just put this on the top here. As I say it's mostly sort of grit anyway here. And uh, with the Strombo Cactus Discyformis, as I mentioned in my care video, it's really important you use a very well draining soil. They're from Mexico, so don't just go using any old houseplant soil for these. They need a very well draining soil, and that's okay as well. But bear in mind, if you're reusing soil, it won't have nutrients after a while. So, you know, as I say, this has got a fresh repot anyway, and I love to fertilise once the, um, the full growing season has arrived. So easy peasy. Woohoo. So that's one little happy strombo. Strombo cactus disky form us. And I'm going to be putting that in back into the, the window for the, um, the next week or so before I bring it all out into the polytunnel with all the other ones in the grow room here. So thank you so much for watching everyone. If you haven't done already, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Follow me on Insta, Twitter and Facebook at Desert Plants of Avalon. And do check out my website, desertplantsofavalon.com. I want to wish you all a fantastic cactus powered day. Bye. Bye. Thank you for reporting me.